A Christmas Story is the definition of a true cult classic. Although it was originally released to moderate success and lukewarm critical reception, it would go on to become a true classic the following decade due to its frequent television airings and success on home video. As a result, just over 10 years after its release, the creative team reunited to produce a sequel, set the summer after the events of A Christmas Story. It was originally released as It Runs in the Family, but today it's known as My Summer Story. And being that it's almost summer now, I can't think of a better time to talk about this almost cult classic. First off, yes, I'm aware this wasn't the first sequel to A Christmas Story, and unfortunately, it wouldn't be the last. I'll come back to this one in December, though. A TV sequel was actually produced in 1988 called Ali Hop Noodles Haven of Bliss, and it focused on Ralphie's teenage years, with no cast members from A Christmas Story returning. Jerry O'Connell would play teenage Ralphie in this film. It's been out of print for decades, but you can find a VHS transfer on YouTube. A Christmas Story was adapted from the work of Gene Shepard, who narrates the film and also makes a small cameo in the department store scene. Where do you think you're going? I have to see Santa. Oh, oh, oh. The line ends here. It begins there. Prior to A Christmas Story, his stories centering around young Ralphie and his family were adapted to several television films. It wasn't until A Christmas Story, though, that his work would be adapted to the big screen. As I said in the intro, while A Christmas Story is a bona fide cult classic today, it didn't make huge waves upon its release. When syndication made the film a hit in the early 1990s, the director, screenwriters, and studio decided they would capitalize off of this and make a sequel. The main problem was, all of the original cast had aged well past their screen characters, considering this film would take place only months after A Christmas Story. So they decided to recast the Parker family. Charles Grodin replaces Darren McGavin in the role of Ralphie's old man. And Mary Steenburgen replaces Miranda Dillon as Mrs. Parker. What is that? Oh, damn. We don't call that the rape. I've got them now. But what is it? They're building a crapper! A what? An outhouse! A, a two-holder! An outdoor toilet! And you can bet it's not up to code! That crapper's gonna be their downfall! The role of Ralphie would go to Kieran Culkin, and Christian Culkin would play younger brother Randy. Randy! You are in big trouble, mister. You better eat every mouthful of that. You better enjoy it. Mm. Geez, how many Culkins are there anyway? The only returning cast member is Ralphie's teacher. Now, Ralph, I want you to be very truthful. With you. Truthful? Uh oh. Where did you get the book? Did you get it out of the library? My mind, working like a steel trap, leaped into action. A, a kid gave it to me. A big kid. By the candy store. A big kid. By the candy store. Gave you Boccaccio's to camera. Gene Shepard also returns to narrate. Oh, another five minute wait. The old man tried to sneak by. Hold it! Son of a bitch! What was that, buddy? The old man turned on his innocent voice. I'm sorry, officer? Did I hear you calling me a son of a bitch? I beg your pardon, sir? He suddenly became hard of hearing, too. Much like a Christmas story, the plot is not overly complex. Ralphie has moved on from his Red Ryder BB gun and is now obsessed with tops. He's on a quest to find one to beat the town's new bully, Lug. I was one of that lonely breed. Lug Ditka was another. Lug Ditka, the worst bully in the history of Warren G. Harding. Scott Farkas, my old enemy, had been demoted to bully second class. Get the top, stupid. Right, Lug? And do all the bullies in this town have to wear a similar hat? One thing that this film does differently, that I really like, is it expands on Mr. Parker's war with the Bumpuses, the loud hillbilly neighbors who were only referenced in the first film. Unlike A Christmas Story, they actually appear in the flesh in this movie, and they truly go to war with Mr. Parker in this film. It was a shootout. 
Only the old man made a tactical error. Well, you're gonna tear it down. He thought Amo was unarmed. I want an answer it now. <laughs> oh, ugh. Also, the Parkers now have an adorable dog named Barkley. Barkley was the smartest sit, sit, mutt sit. I ever saw. He sit could up. do any trick ever dreamed Look, up. He did it. But some of you might know him by a different name. I hate Brussels broth, don't you? Yep, it's Ernest P. Warrell's dog, Rimshot. None of the main cast here are trying to do a carbon copy imitation of the original cast. They each make the roles their own, while honoring the spirit of a Christmas story. So what went wrong here? Why does no one talk about this movie, while its predecessor is so revered and referenced? Also, how did this movie only gross $70,000? Good lord. Well, for starters, this film was originally marketed and released as it runs in the family. If their goal in making this film was to capitalize off the success of A Christmas Story, it's just a baffling move. When the movie tanked, the studio must have realized how bad this decision was and wanted to correct their mistake for the home video release. So they renamed the movie, but even that they screwed up by just one word. The first film wasn't called My Christmas Story. This movie should have been renamed A Summer Story. At least then it might have stood a chance. But not even a retitle could save this film's fate. This movie was out of print for a long time, but it recently got a Blu-ray release, and I recommend checking it out. Though it doesn't compare to A Christmas Story, I still think it has plenty of redeeming qualities. It tries to do new things with the characters, but also honors some of what made A Christmas Story work so well. It actually captures a lot of what it was like to be a kid during summer. If anything, it just highlights how A Christmas Story was truly lightning in a bottle. The film is the first in a long line of attempts to capitalize and recreate the success of A Christmas Story. But honestly, this is the one that comes the closest, and isn't nearly as shameless. Ralph, don't shoot your eye out. I haven't shot my eye out. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. Oh, oh, oh! Sure, you won't find yourself quoting it or watching it every year, but my summer story is worth checking out for all that it did differently. What was that? I don't know. Could have been one of our children. Yeah, maybe. 